What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am Hayden with State 48 Turtle and Tortoise and welcome to those of you guys who may be clicking on the channel for the very first time, which due to the nature of the video, thumbnail and title, odds are quite a few of you guys are going to be new to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to tell if your tortoise is a male or a female. These are obviously sulcata tortoises. This is going to be true to sulcata tortoises, but some of the information is general knowledge to all tortoises as far as like length of tail, um, sometimes the anal skews. We're going to talk about all that right now. And then also at the end of the video, there's going to be a couple of you guys that are going to say, by the time I show you the male and the female, you're going to say, that's really cool, Hayden, but my tortoise doesn't look anything like that. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of anomalies of what these tortoises can also look at. That's why you're not only looking at one factor, such as the tail length or the anal skew shape. So we're going to talk about all that. What I got to do is I'm chumming out the tortoises right now. Um, but first, before I get them flipped over, thank you, camera. Appreciate you doing your job. Um, before I get them flipped over, we got to go feed the water turtles. All right, here we are at the two turtle ponds. Going to get them fed real quick because, you know, we got to start every video like that. There you go. They're hungry. We got them lining up over here. Okay, 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 yeah, okay. Hungry hippos. Give a little more food to them and the rest in there. And they're all eating. We got, uh, for those of you guys who are interested, comment below. I'll make another video updating you guys on all the different radio sliders. Lots of videos on the channel. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and go over here. We're going to go ahead. I uh, got a couple more tortoises over here now, um, close by. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a male and a female flipped over. And this is going to be a quick snapshot of what a male and a female look like. All right, I'm going to be quick here because I don't like having my tortoises on their backs. But as you can tell, this is a, an adult female sulcata. Well, almost adult. And then this is a male sulcata. First things first, most people are gonna to talk to you about is the concavity in their shell. The male's concaved, the female is not. However, you can tell this female has a slight concavity, but she is 100% a female. Concavity. Next, the gular test, gular projections. As you can tell, hers are kind of short and rounded. His are long and pointed, the gulars. He is a male. Two things, we're gonna hurry. Sorry, I didn't wash them off, but it's gonna be, man, my camera is on point today. We've got the anal scutes. Hers is slightly more narrow, kind of rounded a little bit. His, you can tell, has a very distinct wide opening. And you can tell that the bottom piece of his shell right here actually comes lower to the ground and hers is actually higher up. I'll show you that when I flip him back over. She's not happy, so we're gonna hurry this. She's got what they call a tiny little, cute little Hershey kiss tail. If you guys can see that, don't wanna get poop on my hand. Tiny little Hershey kiss tail. His tail is super long and wrapped around. Those are gonna be the, the simple ways you're gonna tell if you got a male or a female. I'm gonna flip them over and I'll show you some other right. examples. As I was telling you guys, kind of hard to see. You can tell the bottom of her, that piece of her shell doesn't touch the ground. If you look at the male, his actually wraps all the way under and touches the ground. That's another telltale sign. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, man, you, you guys think I would need to like, uh, you know, mute the camera. I probably should do that before I start recording, but it's fine. Um, we're gonna flip Scarlet over here. I'm gonna show you what she looks like on the bottom side because as I told you guys before in the beginning of the video, I apologize if I'm talking fast, I'm trying not to make this video drag on forever, but I'm gonna show you some anomalies of what a male or a female could look like when they don't have super distinct shaping like these tortoises do. And I'm also gonna talk about what size and age you can tell the gender of these tortoises. All right, Scarlet is 100% a female. She does have a slight concavity, very minimal but mostly flat. She's got the short gular projections. She's got the cute little Hershey kiss tail. She's 100% a female, but the re, oh, he does not like me messing with the females. Um, look at the shape of her, her, the, her anal scutes here. They are very similar to the males. They curl down. And then also you can tell, I'll flip you back over beautiful. All right, there we go. Her shell almost touches the ground in the back. She is 100% a female. That's why I'm telling you guys, you've got to basically take the average of all of the signs you have to tell the gender, whether it's a male or a female, boy or girl, you kinda gotta average those together. Next, I'm gonna show you one of my smaller males because his anal scutes, sorry, look the exact same as Scarlet's, but he is a guaranteed male. I'm gonna grab him real quick out of the mud pit. Get my all right, this guy's a guaranteed male. He's actually, actually matured quite a bit over the past year. They've widened out. He's got the long tail. He doesn't have much of a concavity, just a little bit, but you can tell that his gular projections are actually getting a little bit longer, but this is in fact a male. Let me show you a smaller female. This girl's about 13, 14 inches. 
she actually has a perfect example of what a female anal scute looks like. Nice and rounded for those eggs to come out. Short Hershey kiss tail, no concavity, but there's another example for you. <laughs> Lastly, what I wanna talk about is what size and age. I'm gonna go back into the shade because it is, I'm just fighting shadows. Um, all right guys, I promise next video I put out, I'm gonna make sure that the freaking cameras are muted. Um, I'm gonna talk about size and age. For sulcata tortoises, you are only gonna be able to tell for sure, for sure, for sure, starting, well, for the males, when they show you their business. Um, males can sometimes show you their business as early as like 10 or 11 inches, then you've got a guaranteed no. Um, this tortoise here is a, probably about 10 inches or so, 10 or 11. I am pretty confident this is a female. We've got that tiny button tail. The shape of the anal scutes look right. The gular projections seem kind of big for her size. The guy who sold her to me said she was a, um, a male. I think it's a female. That tail is teeny tiny. She's 10 inches. I am guessing at this point. I'm using deductive reasoning. But I won't really know for probably another two to five inches. So katas, you can know for sure, for sure, for sure at about 15 inches. You can start making really good guesses before that, but 15 to 17 inches, oh my gosh, guys. Seriously, stinking cameras. Um, thank you, Ring, though, for protecting my house because I have cameras everywhere around this place. Um, but you can't really know distinctively till about 15, 16 inches um, if you want to be like 100% sure, unless the male has shown you his business. This tortoise I'm like 98% sure, but I'm not gonna say I know 100% because I just don't. There's still some unknown things, right? Um, tortoises are chomping on some Missouri tortoise chum. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, please, please click the like button. Click subscribe. Before we end off this video though, one more thing guys. I'm repping some merch. I've got the merch store set up, looking great. Just checking on my Herman's tortoise there. Um, I got it set up through Teespring. I'm gonna put the link down below. It's gonna be the pinned comment. You can order your stuff on Teespring. Um, right now, the shirt that I have on there, I have them all set the way they should be. However, the tri-blend shirt, it's a super nice, super comfy shirt. I own a couple that like, take it back. I actually own one of them. Um, I was using different shirts. They just weren't quite as comfy. These ones I'm, using, I'm actually wearing right now, but I have these new ones. They are so comfortable, that tri tee. Definitely go get yourself one. I have it on there right now at my cost. It's like $21, which is kind of expensive for a t-shirt, but it's at cost. I'm not making any money on it. Take the back. I'm making 18 cents because it was just a nice whole round number. Um, but get yourself one of those shirts. And I will, I will mute the camera next time because that's driving me crazy. Um, but anywho, guys, click that like button, click subscribe. Appreciate you guys watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. We'll have more videos. I should a lot of banger videos coming for you super soon because we got some big things happening this week. Catch you next time. Peace.